What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me today. Always excited to hang out with you guys. I got a real good one for you today, man. Uh, Crescent Moon Innovations International's Zenith version 2, the double cross version, I believe. Uh, I got this from my good buddy, Josh Wilson. Josh, shout out to you, my friend. Thank you for grabbing this for me. Got this from quite a while ago, actually. Quite a while ago, and I've had some time to play with it. Um, I'm gonna join it, man. Uh, we're gonna do a. We're gonna build it for sure. I don't know how I want to build it today. I haven't decided yet, man. I don't know. Something fun? We'll figure it out as we go, man. We're gonna. Ha we're just gonna figure it out as we go. Uh, but I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of this thing. Um, we're going to do it like we always do, man. We're going to have fun doing it. Uh, hopefully the K-Fun build's been working out for you guys. Um, you know, ho hopefully that, that turned out really well. Same build and everything right here. This will last me forever, you know, this this build right here. It's a great, it's a great build, man. It's delicious, man. So you know what, without further ado, you know what, I had the box for it, but I can't find the damn thing. So, I'll describe to you the box as we look at the atomizer. Um, I got shit everywhere, so bear with the mess, guys. Here we go. Come on, man. Pull forward just a hair. There it is. The Zenith, or Zenith, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, Tiger Brass version here. I cleaned it up for you guys. I had a really nice patina on it, though. Um, there's all the ins and outs of it. Um, so, I, like I said, I've been really enjoying this thing. It's got a stainless steel top cap. Silver-plated copper post here, guys. Connection down here. Uh, pretty sweet. Uh, We've got this Delrin insert in the top cap. This will uh, really take down the heat. Uh, you know, going towards your drip tip area when you're really vaping this thing. Um, also, this thing, uh, it's got a couple of unique features. It's a four-piece design. Let's go ahead and just take this apart right now. Now, the way the AFC ring works, which is right here, okay, um, it's by pressure from this. It's kind of like the atomic, right? Screw down the top cap. Let's say you want it right there. And you just take your top cap piece here. Screw down tight, and there you go. Held down by pressure, guys. Okay, which is pretty slick. This comes completely off. Okay, exposing the inside, and you're able to remove the ring. Okay, now the threading on this is perfect. I haven't had a single problem. In fact, it can be too loose sometimes. Sometimes when I'm trying to take it off the ohm reader. Ohm reader, um, this dang thing just spins right off. Uh, is that a problem? Uh, it can be. But as far as vaping it wise, I haven't had a problem with this coming off or anything like that, okay? Everything's well done. The threading is really, really well done, okay? Um, no crispy crunchiness on the inside here, okay? Everything's really nicely done here, guys. We'll set that off to the side. Next up, let's talk O-rings real quick. The O-ring on this, uh, if you can push it out like that, you know, it's not the worst I've ever seen, but it's not the best by any means. Uh, I would like to see better O-rings on that. At least on mine, it's, that's not very good. Um, the barrel exposes the engraving of the Zenith or Zenith. Okay. Um, bam. We got one, two, and three. Okay. So you can set up for dual hole config, dual coil configuration, or single coil configuration, which is great, man. Um, Again, threading, perfect, okay? No crispy crunchiness. Let's get on the inside of this thing so you guys can see. It's a 22 millimeter device. Um, this little lip here covers the entire base, so it gives it a really nice flush look, guys. Really nice and flush. Okay. Get a good look at that. Right on. Okay, we'll set that up to the side. and uh, Let's talk about the deck on the bottom here got the crescent moon the MII and the serial number here I'm gonna 
at this pretty close. This is how it came to me, guys. A little disappointing, I must say. Um, see all those kind of abrasions on there, almost nicks and stuff like that. That's how it came to me, guys. Um, definitely let down on that for the most part. Um, and also, here, guys, let me show you this real quick as well. On the bottom of my cap, do you see that kind of weird scuzz right there? See that as it goes all the way around? See that? that is, that's how it came to me as well. Definitely let down on that. I don't expect anything to be perfect, you know. I'm not like Mr. Perfect when it comes out. I'm, you know, I can handle some things, but that's pretty bad. Um, the video doesn't give it justice. It's definitely noticeable. Even when I'm, you know, right here, guys, you can see that. Um, so that kind of let me down there, guys. Um, does that, it doesn't affect the performance of the atomizer, though. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I can't harp on that too much. Um, let's talk the well. Let's get into that. The well's pretty decent size, guys. I'm definitely happy with it. It's great for stuffing cotton in there. Um, really great for stuffing cotton in there. Um, also, they use a high temp insulator here, guys, which is great. Okay. The quality of the machining on the deck, I just love the look of this, guys. I definitely do. Okay. Isn't that great? Welded negative posts. By looking at those, you'd never even tell. You'd swear it was built right in. It is that well done. Um, look at that. Isn't that great? You can see where the where the machine kind of went around and smoothed out everything. See that? It's almost like a U going around that negative post. Beautiful, man. Also, I really like how the negative posts conform to the circular design of the center post. Isn't that great? You get two square negatives, which are really big size, guys. And then you have that big round one. Um, what they did is they just kind of niched it. Boom. Just like that. Niched it up. See that? Right down the middle of both. They're both equal and the same height and everything. Very, very well done. Okay? As I spin it, you'll see what they did, okay? Where they threaded it for the grub screws, they just literally cut it out, okay? Which, not only did, you know, it didn't make like a circular design, which is great because it actually made more of a wider design, okay? I love that. Love that. The screws themselves, as you can see right here, can quit shaking for you guys. There we go. Look at the thread on those uh, grub screws, guys. Those little Allen key screws. Beautiful. Pretty hard to strip those guys. They're deep. They're fantastic. Now you can't build on these, you know. Um, you know, you gotta know that going into this one, guys. You know, maybe one day somebody will make like a little make some screws that'll fit and maybe they even do now. If they do, let me know. But uh, you know, these are a pretty big key. Yeah. It comes with the Allen key, definitely. But the fit of the key into the screws themselves is great, man. You're be really hard pressed to strip these grub screws out. They did a really good job of paying attention to that. You know what I mean? Um, let me pull out. This is the center one here, okay? It's a give and take situation with this atomizer. Now you can't build. There's nothing to build on, right? But look at the bottom of that screw. When that comes down and makes contact with your wires, Boom. It's the video doesn't give it justice. These things are nice and flat. It's like I mean there's a little concave in there. But the the width of the bottom of this, um, the way it can makes connection with your wires is fantastic. Guys. You know, if you don't if you don't mind, you know, giving a little I'm telling you, this thing really puts some pressure down. Okay? Um the width of the eyelets themselves is great. Like I said, uh, 220s and they're slopping around, guys. No problem, okay? Dual O-rings hold everything down if I hadn't mentioned that. Um, everything is really solid. The posts are the same height. Um, it's just, it's a really nicely well-made piece, okay? Let's build it. Let's build it. 
Now I found with this atomizer real quick while I'm on the subject, while I'm thinking about it. Ohmmeters. Um, I've kind of had a problem. Now this is adjustable, okay? But I'm not. I haven't adjusted it. But it does bottom out, like on my USA Home Reader. It won't read it. Okay, it just bottoms out. My black one it fits just fine. Okay. So we're gonna be using the black one today. If I could find my 510 to 510 connection, it works. But you know, for now we're gonna be using the black one. Just so you guys know. Okay. Let's, uh, like I said, we got this all set up. We should build it. Now, what are we going to build it with? Let me vape, guys. Let's do... Let's do... Hmm. <laughs> let's do a... 24 gauge uh, been really loving the 24 gauge let's do 24 gauge 7 wraps micro coil style around a 2 millimeter micro screwdriver Real classic build on this channel. We do this one a lot. Okay. Let me show you my first one here, guys. There we go. Fairly tight. Uh, that first one came off a little bit. Okay. Let's do another one here. Same thing, guys. Seven wraps each, dual coil design. I went ahead and made sure that one, um, one lead is longer than the other. Okay, that's just gonna help you pop it in there. Let's go for it, guys. Okay, pop that in, and I'm gonna kind of move this over because I want you guys to see how much room is in there. Look at that. Not crazy. So if you like quad coils and stuff, my god, you could easily fit them in there. I bet you could fit four in there. Okay, grab the other coil here. Move this one to the side. Okay. We're gonna be getting some different kinds of builds here in a while, guys. So I think we'll just go for the 24 gauge here. Okay, and I'm I got I got a little space in there because, like I said, I've been pushing my clothes to the middle because I believe it helps with wicking. Okay, um, I'm getting a more near even amount on each side of the coil of cotton, and that's really helping my wicking method. Okay, okay. So as you can see here, here's a spacing I have. Okay, just like that. Okay. And I want to make, I'm trying to make sure that they're both about the exact same here. And that's a little more like it. And let's go ahead and start from the center post. The center post. I'm going to tighten this down and you'll see these coils kind of start to move. See that? Kind of drag that one in a little bit. Okay. Push that out just a hair more. Okay. That's pretty good right there. Pretty happy with that. Then we'll, I'll put my finger on this coil right here and I'll tighten down the uh, negative. And you can really feel those coils wanting to run. Run up there. You know what I mean? When I'm holding my finger on there. So I just gently place it on there and as I feel the coil start to run and I believe it's from these screws. It's really pulling those. Okay, got it pretty solid there. And I'll finish the deal here. Nice and nice and snug, guys. Okay, nice and snug. Good. Okay, I'm gonna pull all my leads up to the sky. Okay. 
and I'm going to go ahead and make my adjustments. Okay. Stick this in, pull it down, and I'm just going to go ahead and just push towards the center, just like that, guys. As, close, as far as you can. You're, for the most part, you won't get a dead center, and there's other ways to do this. I'm going to demonstrate in upcoming videos. And I want the coils the same height as the eyelets, and I want them flat. Okay. This one's not very flat. And I'm doing all my my um, my arrangements of coils before I measure it. Okay. And I want the same height. This one's a little higher. Nice and flat. Okay, let's check this out real quick, guys. Pretty close, pretty close. After the adjustments are made, I want to come through one more time. Snug it up. As you can see with this Allen key, it really does work well. I mean, you don't even have to use the other end of it, you know, to get torque on it. I mean, it's very smooth threading on everything. Okay, that's kind of what we're left with. Now, obviously, it's not perfectly centered, but we're, we're trying. We're doing the best we can, right? Fairly evenly spaced. It looks like this one right here. Yeah, this one's a little closer to the post than the other one. Okay. Let's go ahead, bend down the negatives, and clip. Okay. Come into the middle one. Just kind of get in there the best you can. Try and hold on to it so it doesn't fly everywhere. I want your girlfriend stepping on canthal, man. It's no good. Okay, and now with these these extra leads on the center post that are kind of poking out still, I'm gonna push those against the post. And it looks pretty good already, anyway. This one definitely needs it. Okay, good. Everything looks pretty solid there. Let's measure it. Okay, 0.24 ohms. Let me get a little closer here. There we go. So that's what I'm dealing with. As you can see, there is a little more of a gap on that other side. Gosh, I'm just not happy with that. There we go. Not bad. Good. Not bad. That turned out really well. They're both about the exact same height, which is fantastic. Now, let's go ahead. Let me back you up, guys. We're going to set the coils now. At this point, this is the point where we're checking to make sure that the coils are firing evenly. Okay. And we're also stiffening up the coils for the wicking process. Okay, so get your... Uh, tweezers out. We're going to pulse it. Soft pinch. Pinch. Nice and soft, guys. Okay. A nice solid pinch on this one. This one's got a weird acting a little weird. Same with this one. I'm going to pinch it really well. Pull it there. Good. Grab my pick. Okay, and we're going to strum the coils. Let me get a little closer here for you guys. Okay. Pulse. See that? I'm just dragging it across. Flip it around. I got pressure on there, but not so much that I can dent the coil itself. Here we go. There we go. And if it's not glowing to how you like it, um, gosh, that one's acting a little. If it's not glowing the way you like it, strum it again. Okay. I'm happy.
happy with that. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Now, wicking process. I got some Kogan dough here, guys. I'm gonna cut out, I don't know, maybe quarter inch tops. Okay. Of a strip. Okay. A little quarter of an inch, and then I'm gonna split it. And I'm gonna take this quarter inch piece, and I'm gonna try and split it in half the best I can, just like that. I'm gonna take this. This is how I use my Kogan dough, guys. And I just twist it up, one little twist, one little twist back, done. Okay. Make a little point here. And I'm going to now insert. I'll try and keep this in the shot the best I can, guys. By the time you guys see this video, I'll be on my way to Las Vegas, Nevada, which is going to be a really good time, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it, man. I think I'm going to go hit uh, Pink Spot. Yeah, for sure. I hear nothing but great things about Pink Spot. I'll have to let you guys know when I get back what I, about the experiences I had at the vape shops. Going down for vacation. Okay. Now I'm going to pull it till it's snug, and I'm going to back it out just a little bit. It's a little tired right there. That's good. Okay. Next up, back it up. Okay. And, it, and literally, you want to pull it till you feel it kind of loosen up, and then one little tug to the, to, you know, backwards, to the opposite direction. That's really going to settle your coils and See how it's, there's like coil, and it's kind of fluffy off the coil? The coil, and it's fluffy off the coil. Do you see that? Let me put a little background on that. See that? It's like coil, fluff. Coil, fluff. Okay? Now I'm going to cut just on to the outside of the deck. Just like that. Pull them both together. And just cut to the outside of the deck. Just barely on the outside of the deck. See that? Okay? Pick time. Grab your pick or micro screwdriver or whatnot. And just drag this under. Okay. And I'm leaving a little pocket, not much of one, just a little one, directly underneath the coil, right in here. Okay. Flip it around. Just drag it under. Okay. And push it back. Sometimes you just gotta kinda handle it. There we go. Okay, keep that in the shot for you guys a little better. Okay. There's a pocket in each one. Decent amount of cotton on each side. Very evenly evenly done here. I'm going to fix this side. It's kind of weird shape. Okay, that's the finished product, guys. Pocket. Pocket. You can see the deck. When you look down, you can see the deck down there. See that? Pocket. Pocket. Okay. Now all that's left to do is juice this thing up. Seven wraps, 24 gauge canthal, around a two millimeter micro screwdriver, and it came out to be 0.24 ohms. We're using a Sony VTC5 battery. If you haven't gotten to freedevape.org, guys, do that. It's super easy. I can't believe how easy it is. You know, it's really nice. Also, Casa support them support anybody that protects our vaping rights man you know these guys are coming to take it from us man there's no doubt about it no doubt about it I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this in just a little bit I got a couple strays here 
can really open up that pocket just a hair more. Good. Good. That's perfect. Now, of course, what we want to do is set your airflow up right onto your coil. So I'm just going to line it right up. That's why I don't put everything together. And I can really see when it's perfect. Down. Boom. Just like that, as you can see directly over the coils. It's exactly what you want, guys. Okay. Next up is your AFC ring. Go ahead and pop that on. Okay. Get it right where you want it. Boom. I guess I should have fired it first. It's fired, guys. Sorry about that. I'm all over the place today. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Let's go ahead and redo that one more time. We had a shot here for a second, guys. Bingo. Okay. AFC ring goes on. Boom. Thread on the top tap. Nice and smooth. Make sure it's nice and snug up on there. Good. That's it, guys. Ninja Mod strip tip, and uh, boy, that's a good looking uh, atomizer, isn't it? Fantastic. Let's pick it up top, man. Good. There we go, man. Um, as you can see, super easy to build. Let's vape it, for sure. Uh, super easy to build. Uh, tons of room in those eyelets, guys. Airflow is really solid on this. Really nice sized air slots here, guys. Um, like I said, the only real problem I have with this is pretty minor. I mean, the abrasions on the outside, now that's the thing, it doesn't affect the performance of this atomizer. However, it did kind of let me down, right? I mean, ah, for how much these cost, you know, and they're so hard to get, it seems. It seems like every time they're in stock, they're out of stock, right? The moment you get your hands on one, and you really inspect this thing, you really see that the, the you know they really put the effort into this atomizer. You can definitely tell. Um, the connection you get off of those Allen key screws, fantastic. Um, really, really strong connection there, and I really like that about this atomizer. Yeah, a lot. I know the build was something you guys have seen before, and I got some new builds coming up for you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do some dragon coil stuff, different wicking methods of tiger coils and stuff like that. Um, like I said, we got plume bell builds coming up. Um, we got lots of good stuff coming up. But I've noticed that this build here in this atomizer around the .2 area is just a fantastic vape, guys. Great flavor coming out of this thing. Fantastic flavor, actually. Um, <laughs> terrific atomizer. Highly recommend it from you guys if you can get your hands on one, right? Ooh. <laughs> mm. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching, man. I really appreciate it. It's always a blast hanging out with you guys. I'm going on vacation. If you have any questions at all, comment down below, man. Um, definitely comment down below. Also, if you want to email me, you can uh, tjvapingreviews at aol.com if you feel like you're shooting me an email. If you want to say what's up, have any questions, hit me up, man. I try to get back to everybody the best I can.
been super slammed at work. I'm ready for a vacation, though, bro. Let's end this.